Week two is here for the Heroic Menagerie, and oh my lord, is this one a lot harder to do flawless. So, let's talk about it. The first thing you're going to want to do is do something similar to what I said the first week. Make sure everybody is wearing an Emperor's Blaze Bond, Mark, or Cloak and make sure that it is associated with the ability damage that you are doing. So, if you have Emperor's Blaze Solar subclass, you are gonna wear the Solar variant of that mod. And if you are Arc and Void, you follow accordingly. You wanna make sure that you wear that, because that will give you a 25% damage buff inside of a well. You also want to make sure that you have the appropriate weapons going into this. My recommendations and what my group used was a 150 RPM spike grenade launcher called Outrageous Fortune. Now you can acquire this from Zavala by turning in tokens. It's very, very helpful for damaging the boss. We also use the mountaintop, but if you don't have that, there are some alternatives. You can use Orwing's Maul from Iron Banner. You can use Militia's Birthright with spike grenades. It does come with that from the Strike on Earth. And you can use other weapons to essentially just keep yourself alive. We also used Teraba. Teraba is an exotic from the new raid and its perk Ravenous Beast lets it proc some extra damage if you are shooting a target or if you are taking damage and with solar burn this week, this weapon absolutely shredded. So now that you know which kind of mods and which kind of loadout you want, you're probably wondering what classes you want to go in there with. I will tell you right now that my group used three titans, two warlocks, and one hunter. We had one titan on bottom tree void subclass throwing shields consistently with the doomfang pauldrons on. The doomfangs of course make it so when you throw a shield it gives you your shield back. If you keep comboing it will keep giving you super and super and super. It does crazy amounts of super energy given back to the user as long as you're killing ads and in the final boss room you will notice there is a lot of ads. We also used two middle tree void titans. This was very helpful because of the banner shield. The banner shield has some weird properties to it that actually make it really, really powerful and also the best safety. Yes, the banner shield is actually stronger defense than the Well of Radiance. So, with the banner shield, you actually have a thing called detonators on it, where if you hold the shield onto an enemy, these detonators will proc, and if somebody kills that enemy, they will explode, healing everybody on your team, as well as healing yourself. And they proc and they explode all around. It's like a bunch of grenades going off. It's very, very helpful. And our hunter used top tree void hunter with Orpheus rig tether and invisibility by using his dodge roll. This made it so he was able to pick up the balls, this made it so he was able to get his super back pretty easily, and this made it so when we killed adds they all exploded together. Pretty straightforward. Now that you know all the loadouts, all the mods, the weaponry, all that kind of stuff, it is time that we talk about each encounter. Now the lamps is fairly straightforward so we won't really go over that. Pick up a ball, slam it into the lamps, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. The second encounter, however, the hunted, can get a little choppy. So here's what I recommend for the hunted. I recommend splitting your team into groups of three and well coordinating who is going to be with which group. You want a warlock on each of these teams as well as a banner shield titan on each of these teams. You want it so the Warlocks are rocking Luna Faction boots and swapping to Phoenix Protocol if they have it. If they don't, it's not that big of a deal since you'll be killing a lot of ads quickly. My team for this used Mountaintops, Recluse, Teraba, Anarchy, Outrageous Fortune, etc, etc. Now here is what makes this kind of an interesting thing in general. There is a modifier on this week's Heroic Menagerie called Grenadier. Grenadier makes it so when you throw grenades they do more damage and they give you your grenade back. 
Now you stack that with the solar burn, you run solar subclasses, stack that with solar burn, you are getting a lot of grenade energy. This also means Warlocks Rock in the Middle Tree Well of Radiance can consistently throw healing nades, so I recommend using those a lot. The rest of the hunt is fairly straightforward though. You capture some plates and you kill some knights, kill some wizards, make sure your ad clear is under control, and boom, you are through the hunted and on to the repost. Now that you are at the repost, I want to say this right now. Stick together as a team. Make sure two people use tractor cannons. This is what I recommend. This is what my team use, and we found this to be much more successful than a lot of other loadouts. When you have two people using tractor cannons, make sure that you are constantly booping the shields of the bosses since you will need a sword to break the shields, Tractor Cannon makes it a lot easier as the damage buff applied to it will actually make it so the boss's shield goes down a lot easier. Once you're through with the knights, you're going to be on to the ogres. It's fairly straightforward. Again, you're going to just shoot the ogres with the tractor cannon. Make sure that you are using wells accordingly. And on the final ogre, I would recommend giving yourself some space from the ogre with the well of radiance, but still using tractor cannon and the middle tree void banner shield, holding it up on the ogres. That's what we found to have a lot of success and a quick kill on it. If it's not so quick, it's not a big deal. You can do the Arcborn, you can do Crystals. We never really got past the Arcborn, but you shouldn't have a problem getting through that stuff. It's just like regular, just a little bit harder. Now on to the final boss. You have your loadouts here. My group, most of us used Mountaintop, Teraba, and Outrageous Fortune with Spike Grenades. I, however, was dedicated to the Tractor Cannon Boop. So my job was to get the boop on the boss and then run up and help my team. Now our original goal with this was to get a one phase and it was definitely doable. However, we actually messed up a little bit and you're going to see it in the footage that we messed up a little bit. We threw a ball too early and that kind of messed up our DPS phase. So we went for a guaranteed two, which you can do as many DPS phases as you want. There is no time restriction. There's no enrage mechanic. There's none of that here. So you can do as many as you want. The goal here is to stay alive. Now that can be pretty tough. So what I would recommend, and this is what my group did to the best success. We tried a lot of different methods. This took us a lot of time to get this done. So this is what we found to have the most success. We sat back in the corner on the right side of the room if you're looking in from where you first enter. We sat at the back right corner behind a pillar. We would drop wells consistently, swapping from Luna Factions to Phoenix Protocol to get our super back. We would also have one of our players with the Titan shields throwing them at the adds all around the room. And then myself and the other Titan would swap in between using the banner shield or just killing ads if we didn't need the banner shield. Sometimes we did, sometimes we didn't. We would have our hunter go out and go invisible to pick up a ball, run back behind the pillar, and then throw one ball at a time at the ogre. Remember, infinite time. No need to be aggressive. Now the boss has a couple of things that will make this very, very frustrating. Number one, the Ogre Eye Blast will actually shoot you right through a Well of Radiance. So we recommend do not even show yourself to the Ogre. Number two, and this is the most frustrating part for me personally, is that Acolytes do throw solar grenades. And remember what I said earlier, Grenadier is on and Solar Burn is on. So those Acolytes, two grenades inside of a well hitting you will instantly kill you, thus ruining your run. And number three, the boss does have a boop in the air mechanic where he will shoot you up in the air, and sometimes he leaves a trail of burn on the ground. Make sure you are not in that trail. If you end up in that trail and he burns you to death, it is a potential that can happen and is awful. I hated it so much. Okay, so after your hunter has the last ball, he will let the team know that he's gonna throw the ball. Your Banner Shield Titan, this is what worked in our group, our Banner Shield Titan ran up to the boss and gave me the space that I needed to boop the boss. When I did boop the boss, everybody else was roasting. We threw the ball a little early, and that caused some funny shenanigans, but overall, 
this was what we found to be the best method was booping the boss and then moving up top once his banner shield would run out i would pop mine that is a one phase strategy for what i gave you for all of the mods all of the classes all the subclasses that is a one phase strategy that will help you a lot however in our group we sat back in the corner and we shot the boss with grenade launchers from that corner and then after this happened we all just stayed calm we all use rally banner shields we all used Wells of Radiance, killed adds, and just did a simple two phase of damage. Because remember, like I said, there is infinite time to get this done. Once you beat him, congratulations! You have done some amazing things and we are all super proud of you. You were one step closer to the Shadow title. I want to say quickly shout out to Clan Barrage, my clan for helping me with this. Fucking awesome people, man. I, I really, really like these people. Thank you so much for the help guys i also want to say if you guys did enjoy this video a like would be greatly appreciated as well as a subscription i do stream on twitch quite a bit and we have been seeing a lot of success recently so thank you for that anyway guys i will see you in the next video and goodbye